Hi Leo, welcome to your messages from Spirit for the month of October. This is Mary, this is Leo Summer Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a new series I'm introducing to the channel, which I will be doing monthly. So please do let me know if you like these by commenting, sharing, uh, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. Give me some feedback, be greatly appreciated. These are messages from your spirit guides. What does spirit want you to know? So we'll see what we get here. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this and you like it. And um, I'll be doing them, doing them every month. I've also introduced a new series called uh, Singles. So it's singles, who's coming towards you, you know, who, when, where, how, uh, what kind of connection will it be, and that sort of reading. So look out for those also. Please check the description box below any and all information you need about me. Thank you so much to everybody for your support. It really does mean a lot to me. All your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, um, tips, donations, those who reach out for personal readings, new subscribers, really does mean a lot to me. And being a part of the channel and helping it grow. So I just want to say thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see what we have for Leo. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy Halloween. All right, what do we have for Leo? We get about three cards per oracle, and then I have a tower deck there, and we'll clarify where needed. See what, what does Spirit want Leo to know in October? What are your Spirit Guide messages for October? What does Spirit want you to know? What are the messages for Leo, Spirit, please? What do they need to know for October? Spirit, please, thank you so much. We get about three cards for Leo. Three cards for Leo, please. One, three cards for Leo, two, and three. All right. It's three there. We'll get three from this deck, three from that deck, and I'll show you what they are. All right. Spirit, what does Spirit, if my cards will shuffle. All right, what does Spirit want to tell Leo? What are the messages for Leo? Spirit messages for Leo for October. Spirit messages for Leo for October. Three cards, please. Thank you so much. That was quick. They said, take those. I said, okay. I do as I'm told. <laughs> All right, so that's three. Three, three, three. Get three from this deck. What are the spirit guide messages for Leo? What does spirit want you to know, Leo? What do you want to tell Leo, spirit, for October? Messages for Leo for October. I have three cards, please, for Leo. One, two, and three. All right. Let's see what we have. All the decks are listed below also, if you're interested in that. So we have Loyal Heart here, which is 35. 35 is 8, which is about taking action, communication, travel. Loyal Heart. So you may have a very loyal heart, or somebody is going to be loyal to you in October, or you may need to keep your loyalty towards somebody. I know either way, we'll see how that goes. You just may have a lot of loyal people around you that you can trust in, confide in. And then we have clean it up here, 21. So three is about uh, working together, collaboration, teamwork, coming together. So clean it up here, you know, might be just time to clean up things in your life that are no longer serving you. People, places, things, anything here that is no longer serving you, it's time to clean it up but not the stuff that means something to you that um, with the loyal heart there, um, not the people that are loyal to you or you're loyal to them or something that has a lot of meaning to you. Not that kind of energy, any kind of toxic energy, things you don't use anymore, clothes you don't wear. Maybe you just need to clean, do a big fall cleaning in your house. It could be getting rid of people in your life that are no longer serving you. But then we have mending here, which is 52. And 52-7 is a very divinely guided number. So mending here 
You may need to mend some bridges with some people around you. Mending fences, mending bridges. Um, maybe you just have a big pile of clothes you need to mend. I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like it's with some people, maybe you just need to um, clean it up. Is maybe, you know, also mending some issues that have been between you and some other people, like cleaning it up, getting rid of it, dealing with it, mending it. So you can have that loyal heart between you and these other people or maybe just one person. You know, just cleaning up that negative space between you, getting rid of it, because there are loyal hearts there. I'm just mending it. Wow. All right, so let's see here. We have King of Summer. So warm-hearted, devoted, loyal, lo uh, loving. I thought this said loyal. Faithful penguin. A trustworthy person or relationship enters your life. You may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from the heart so king of cups energy so yeah somebody someone very loyal to you there may be some bad feelings or just something not right between you and another person someone you're very loyal a lot of loyalty between the two of you and you just need to, need to clean it up and mend things so you just get it out of the way Different meanings here. So that could be that or some just, just need to clean up your house or clean up what's no longer serving you. And then we have awakening here, which is the hangman, which is giraffe. Look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily, things will soon start moving again. So again, looking at things from all perspectives, seeing things from a different angle um, with the hangman energy. That's awakening. So definitely, you know, looking at things from all perspective, having, you know, different objectives here as you're cleaning up something that needs to be cleaned, cleaned up and mended. Someone very loyal to you that means a lot to you with the King of Summer energy. Someone you love dearly. Just have to see things maybe from their point of view or vice versa or whatever that makes sense for you. So we have eight of summer here, kangaroo. You feel that there's more to life that, than what you're living, so it's time to move on. You may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you, or perhaps you're being drawn to what would make you happy. Either way, you're in control. So again, this is leaving, walking away from something not fulfilling. So some of you may be walking away from things no longer serving you with the clean it up there, or some of you may need to just walk away and leave behind all that stuff that is between you and another person that just needs to be, you know, you clean it up and you walk away from it and you just mend it and leave it and uh, leave it in the past so you can be in this loving, compassionate, peaceful place again with someone who is very near, dear, and loyal to you, you to them. Or again, like I said, some of you just completely walk away. Things no longer serving you, people, places, and things, and cleaning that up it's like the same energy, like just cleaning it up and walking away from it. All right, so now we have Diana, focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. So this is telling you that whatever you wish for, desire, uh, whatever you're striving for, set your sights sets high and keep that positive, um, optimistic outlook going forward. The sh sh Shikinia, sacred self, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Uh, so, <coughs> sorry, so I can need a drink. So again, being true to yourself here, living in peace and harmony. You know, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, be who tr true to who you are, be authentic. Maybe some of you just need to dance. It says dance to the sacred rhythm of life. And then we have Mercury, open communication, get a weight off your chest, speak up with love and be heard. So again, here with the communication, some of you need to communicate. I feel with somebody here and clean up something between you and get rid of it and leave that energy, whatever it is behind and just mend it. Or some of you just need to walk away from something that's serving you. And having that communication of saying, you know, this is no longer serving me. This is why. 
and this is what I need to do for me because I'm know my sacred worth, my sacred self, living in my truth, my in my authenticity. You know, focus your on, intention on what is best for you. All right, so let's do some. Uh, there's the train. <laughs> That's my uh, confirmation when the train goes by. It goes by different times every night, so it's not like I do the reading and say, okay, I know the train's going by at this time, but different times every night. Okay. So let's see. What do I want to clarify here for you, Leo? Let's do Loyal Heart. And we have Seven of Swords. So, yeah, that's... An energy of can be lies, deceit, trickery, and that sort of energy. So there might have been a little bit of deceit between you and someone that you know you're very loyal to one another, and there might have been like a little white lie or something that was just a little bit deceitful, or a little backstabbing or something here, and maybe it wasn't a big thing, but it's really affected the uh, relationship. So let's see what, clean it up. Let's get one for that, clean it up. The magician, so yeah, manifesting a brand new beginning, using all your tools, manifesting something here. So by cleaning up your space and getting rid of things no longer serving you, it gives you new opportunity, new room in your life, new space to create and manifest new things. All right, so for mending, what do we have for mending for Leo? What are we mending here for Leo? Wow. Wow, it's just too many. Too many for Leo. The Five of Pentacles. So this is being, you know, feeling cold, lonely, left out in the cold, abandoned, neglected. So yeah, feeling, feeling, you know, the space and distance between you and another person since this little thing happened here that really affected, uh, your connection, your situation, and feeling feeling that cold distance between you. And there really needs to be mending of that situation. All right, so let's get one for the King of Summer. King of Summer for Leo. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. So you know, things will go in a better direction here. Fate, destiny, timing, divine wheel. So fate, destiny, things going in a better direction, things working, going in your favor. So I feel like with this person that you love dearly, that you treasure, that things will move in a better direction once um, that energy is uh, cleaned up between the two of you. All right, so let's get the awakening here, which is the hangman. Let's get one for that one. All right, we have strength. It just popped out. Now it popped out again. So that's your energy, Leo. So you are strong. You're brave. You're courageous. You can do this. Maybe you're the one that has to come forward. Um, if you did something or, or whoever did whatever here, you may have to be the strong one here that comes forward after you looked at things from every angle, every perspective, every objective, thought things, th thought things through thoroughly. You know, you can be courageous, brave, and have that inner strength, willpower, endurance uh, to overcome this, to work through it, and to begin the process here of, you know, cleaning up that energy. All right, so the Eight of Summer here, we have the Six of Swords. So again, the Eight of Summer is leaving something no longer serving you or leaving an, a certain kind of energy behind that is no longer serving. And now we have the Six of Swords. So this is, you know, just leaving all the past hurts, whatever, behind and just taking forward, going forward with what you need in a more positive, peaceful, healing place. So again, I feel like be leaving that toxic crap behind or whatever it was and really moving forward in a more peaceful, harmonious, a healing place moving forward. 
All right, so let's get one for Diana, focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. So whatever you're striving for, and this could be something totally unrelated than the messages up here. It just could be something new you're pursuing in your life, a new um, dream, desire, uh, endeavor, hobby. I mean, it could be anything. And this is the page of one. So this is, you know, fiery communication, being very passionate with your communication moving forward. This could be a message coming in, a fiery, passionate message um, also, or just you being in that fiery energy and really taking the steps you need to do moving forward and like communicating to everybody, you know, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm passionate about. This is how I'm moving forward. This is my intention. It's like verbalizing that intention and setting it out there to the universe and then manifesting it because you have the magician there which manifests the things that they want in their life. So let's get, oh, I had a big clump turn here. Wow. All right, let's get one for sacred self. What is that about? I, with the dove there, I really feel like finding your, your inner peace, your worth, your value. So let's get one for Sacred Self for Leo. Sacred Self for Leo. So we have the Hermit. So this is about going in, reflecting, doing that inner journey work, that soul searching work, and then knowing exactly who you are, what your worth is, and expressing your, your gifts, yourself, your authentic self and dancing in that rhythm of your true self after you've done that deep soul searching. All right, so let's get one for communication here. So we have the two of swords. So yeah, this may be a time when you're indecisive about things, um, about getting something off your chest, you know, about speaking up and being heard. You may be indecisive about doing that, whatever it is for you. In October could be anything. I feel like you're going to need to make a decision in, even though you're feeling indecisive. But in the end, you are going to have to communicate and get this off your chest and just say what you need to say. And it could be something totally different. Could be uh, could be the same thing here or something different. So we have the Ace of Cups. So this is a brand new beginning for you, going in new direction very positive direction of peace, harmony, balance, fulfillment, self-fulfillment, self-love, love and compassion for you, for yourself and those around you. Divinely guided here. So I do see, uh, you know, things going in a better direction. Once things are cleared up, no longer serving, uh, toxic crap is just left behind. Things are mended, living in your authentic self, not being afraid to communicate and you know moving forward with an intention that you have in your heart and in your soul that you want to move forward in. Wow. See a lot of positive changes here. So good luck to you, Leo. If you do like this, like how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four a month now. They're all different, so don't miss out on that. So good luck to you and um, whatever you decide to do here in your journeys and wishing you the best, sending you many light, love, and blessings and always, always shine your light.